Hello! Today I want to share with you a trick that is a workaround for a minor limitation in Power BI. When we are working in tables in Power BI, we have a relatively new feature and the long life of Power BI. Uh, this is something that's only um, come to fruition in the last couple of years, which is the ability to use conditional formatting to change digits into indicators in our case. You can also do background colors and font colors, but if you're familiar with Project Online, you know that these are the graphical indicators that will show in Project Center for the various health statuses of projects. If, however, we wanted to use a matrix rather than using a table, if we do this, then in our matrix, we typically have uh, these fields in the value section, okay? So I've got a schedule variant state here. Um, I have my task name and task finish date here so that we have multiple rows for our various milestones within our project. But it doesn't make much sense because this is a project level field. This is gonna show up many times. It's gonna show once for every row. So, okay, that tells me, well, it really needs to be in the rows. Well, once I go to do that, unfortunately, I no longer have the opportunity to do any conditional formatting on this field. It goes away when it's in a row. I don't know why they thought nobody would ever want to color code a row, but nonetheless, it is not available here. So we have to kind of kick it old school, as they say, and use an old technique, which is to create a new table that will have values for these indicators. So if I go to my um, transform data here, my Power Query editor in the background, what I do is I create a table manually, okay? I, I do that by using the enter data. If you do that, you can see that a blank table will come up. I can, I can set column names here, okay? So I happen to use color just so that I know which number represents which color, which number, and then I set the path. Okay, now the path is something that you are going to have to find in your own environment. I'll go back to that and I'll show you. So it is this kind of pattern and MPUG has a link for this. So if you search for icons you didn't know you had in Project Online, MPUG has the path for these. Okay, long story short, they are PNGs and they begin with CF. So they're CF underscore a number p.png. It happens to be that zero is green, one is yellow, two is red, and 11 is gray. Okay, so then what we do is we're going to close and apply. We've got this new table that we've added. So we're going to close and apply, and then there's going to be one more step that we need to take. So we have this schedule field that exists in the projects table, and we're going to need to establish a relationship with that new field that I just created between this schedule number and the schedule indicator in the new table I just created. So from my projects table, okay, I'm gonna cover on this. I'm gonna cancel out of this so you can see what I mean if I close this here. I'm going to hover here so I can see exactly what the field is once it stops thinking. Schedule variant state, okay, so I'm going to manage relationships again. I'm going to create a new relationship from my projects table, and I'm going to find the schedule variant state field. We're getting close, here it is. And then we're going to find the new indicators table I made, and this is going to connect to the number. So this is going to be a many to one relationship because we have many rows in here, only a single row for each of these here. Single is fine. We're going to click OK. And then we are going to close. And now what we're going to do is replace this schedule field here, the one that is coming from that uh, project table, with the one that is in my new indicators table up here. If I collapse all these, I'll be able to find it. And I'm going to bring in the path. Now it seems counterintuitive to bring in the path, right? Because what's gonna happen, it's gonna be this big, long, ugly path that we've got here. But what we're gonna do is we're going to change that path type 
to an image URL instead. And then once that thinks about it, it should update, which it's not. So let's set it to web URL first. And then we'll set it to image URL. There we go. Sometimes it takes a moment. So don't panic if it doesn't work the first time, but you need it to be set to image URL here in data category. Okay. Now what we can do is we can re remove that schedule. You can see for me, one is green. It's, I like to leave it in here so I can just check and make sure that I've set the numbers properly. I don't know if we have any yellow values. Yep. Yellow is two. One is green and four is gray. That's when there's a lack of information there. Okay. So now we can remove the schedule. And there you go. Now you have the indicator. I'd rename it for the visual. Just call it schedule so folks know what that applies to, what that color indicator means. And there you have it. Good luck.